is it possible to build a two channel amp meaning a clean channel and drive channel amp using one of the higher gain amps in the pod go yes it is stick with me in this video i'm going to show you how you can do it and we're going to use the German Mahadeva, so that's a Wagner Shiva. So it's not like a super high gain, like a diesel or what have you, or maybe like a mess of boogie triple rectifier or something. But you know, something along the lines of this, or I find a Marshall Marshall Plexi, like one of the the, uh, the Plexis or the the J JT 45s or whatnot, something along those lines is going to be the amp you want now if you use something like a a, a tweed like a, some a fender style amp it's going to be kind of difficult uh, i would say in my experience anyways and if you've been following this channel and seen some of my presets let's say within the last six months or so usually i am building presets now with two channel capabilities so so that's the first thing you're going to need is to find out the right amp because they won't all work if it's too high gain you're gonna you're gonna have too much of a difference in in drive saturation and clean that you could hear volume swells or spikes when you're switching between them okay so let's start with that so let's look at this preset i've like i said i've picked the, the german mahadeva and sorry my mouse has slid some parameters so what i've done is i've just I queued up the amp and i've put everything to five all right so now i'm going to go to the cabinet and this is not my necessarily my workflow but this is kind of how i would start so pick your amp and then pick whatever cabinet you want this one is my default and it's looking like it's a twin i don't want that so i am going to pick the what am i going to pick guys um let's pick an uber v30 or Sorry about this. You know what? I'm gonna pick the match. I'm gonna pick the uh, the Bogner one, the the 112 lead 80. Okay. So bear with me here. This is kind of in the style of a preset build, but I'm just gonna we're gonna stick to how you can design these two channels. Because if you've seen some of my other presets, I do walk through it and show you uh, how I've set parameters and whatnot. But this is a more in depth look at it. Okay. So so we've got the cabinet so let's go back to the amp and get the parameters up here so let's hear it okay so there's hum and that's you know i'm using a single coil guitar there could be some hum with a humbucker so first thing i'm going to do is go over to the left here to the input and i'm going to put the gate on and i'm going to go back to the amp and let's play it again. Okay, hum is gone. So we have kind of a drive saturated tone here. So I'm going to put the guitar volume back up. I'm going to keep it on the neck pickup because I don't know about you, but when I play clean, I usually flick it to the neck, whether it's a humbucker or a single coil. All right, so what I would do first is I'm going to build my clean channel. So we are going to have some controller parameter assignments for sure to do the channel switching and i'm going to focus really on three areas here the drive the channel volume and the master because those three work in tandem and you can build like just this is to build a simple channel like a, a clean and drive channel so first thing i would do and maybe we'll get touched on some of the eq to make the tone sound better i'm not even going to bother with the sag hum ripple bias and all that. that these are things that you can tweak further on this is just to show you how to get a clean channel and a drive channel so first thing i would do pick the, put the drive down now you you know I'll, I'll bring it to two usually i bring it maybe to one let's let's go to, to about one here let's let's hear how this sounds So it's cleaned up pretty good, cleaned up pretty good. Okay. So I'm going to even take it a little down a little further. Now, you know, you can't really put it to zero because then it'll be off. So let's put it down to here to, to 0.6. OK, 
Okay, it's pretty clean, but I know the volume's dropping, but we're gonna we're gonna work through all these things. So let's I'm gonna go back to the cabinet quickly because I want to see the mic. Okay, 409 dynamic is good. I'm gonna put it to the 57. Okay, not much of a difference, but that's okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna up the uh in bring the mic closer. And let's not even worry about low cut, high cut, and you don't need to adjust the cabinet level, but that is that is potentially a parameter you could use. But we'll we'll maybe we'll do another video on 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 that to on you know a more more detailed or more intricate channels uh, switching capabilities. But let's go back to the amp. Okay. So, to you know, you can if you want to fix this up, you know, like let's just sorry, let's up the presence and I'll up the treble. Sorry, guys, let's do the same. Now, I'm going to bring the mid down and I'll leave the bass where it's at and I'm going to up the channel volume. A lot. Okay, so I like that. I'm going to add a reverb just because I need a little reverb. So let's keep it. You know what? I'm going to put. Uh, I'm going to put a hall reverb. I'm going to up. I'm going to up the decay a lot to keep the ambient. I'm not even going to touch that. I'll leave the low cut. I'm going to bring the high cut back up. And then we're going to bring the mix down to there. Trails on. Let's hear how this sounds. That's good enough for the reverb. I just have to have a little reverb. Back to the amp. Okay, so I, let's let's say we're happy with this. Good enough, clean sound. Again, you could you you could and you should. If you know, I would further tweak this to get it really the way I sound. I want to sound, but this, let's. This is a good good starting point for a clean channel. Okay, so we've got our clean channel. Now, this is where we're going to get into controller assignments for the foot switches because we want dirt. So what we're going to do is you click on this little box, bring this up, and I'm I. Personally, I like to start from the bottom row, left to right. So I'm going to assign the drive to foot switch four. When I was going to say, when I click into a dirt, I like my mids up. So I'm going to assign a mid to there to four. And then now when we kick the drive up, this channel volume is going to be way too high. So definitely do another foot switch assignment here and you're doing it on the same switch because this is your this switch is going to be your clean and drive channel switch okay so stick to the same switch and then you might even i i would put the master because if you increase the master then you can you know you're going to get you know increase the saturation a bit of or the drive whatever of the amp you will notice a difference so why don't you do that too so let's do that and what i'm going to do is because I like blending a drive with the amp. Some amps, you know, like let's say a placator, like the the natural drive you get on that is fantastic. I rarely, you don't really need a pedal with this. This one, I'm going to add a distortion. And let's usually default with the, the Scream 808, the Tube Screamer. I'm going to put the Boss. This is the Super OD, so this would be Super Overdrive. And I'm going to... I'm going to up this a little bit. Let's put it up to here. And we'll just leave this. You know what? This, again, this is now we're getting into tone shaping. And I'm sorry, this is going to extend the video too much. Let's not worry about that. But let's also assign. Let's turn this off. Because you don't want it on because we're, we're working on a clean channel. But we want to turn the, the, the effect block off, but yet also assign it. 
Okay, so you see how I did that, right? You right, right click on the effect block, bypass the sign, and then also here, foot switch four. And you'll see here it says multiple four. You can do up to eight assignments on one foot switch. That's what I've experienced anyways. Okay, so now let's, let's play it again, clean. So now I'll, we need to do actually some parameter changes because if we hit this switch, how you have everything set right now, like this, the switch will put everything up to 10. And then when you click it, Again, to go back to clean, it'll go back to zero. So these little white tri uh, triangles or markers, you got to play with them. So adjust the, the drive. Let's 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 just start adjusting here. So this drive, my minute, my clean, I want it here. So whatever I have it here. Okay. Now let's say my maximum. Let's just. I'm guessing ballpark. It sounded pretty creamy and crunchy around five. So let's put it. Yeah. Let's put let's put it there. Okay, now my mid again, my mid when it's clean, I want it here, but I want a mid punch when it's when the when the drives kicked in. So let's put the top slider. I want it up, man. I want it up. You know, I'm going to put it to here. Okay, channel volume. Now this is where the bottom triangle and the top triangle are going to be reversed. Because when I have it on clean, I want a higher channel volume. So you're going to take this little slider and make put it up here. Okay, now when we hit engage it into drive mode, you want to bring the top triangle down now. So let's, let's put the channel volume to say five and a half. Now this will be trial and error when we, when we test it. And with master, again, master for clean bring the little try the bottom triangle to where you have it for your clean and then the top let's say one little more saturation or dirt let's put it here and and then let's let's see what happens okay so we're going to play clean i'll hit the switch and let's hear the dirt i apologize if there's a big volume spike but we'll fix that Okay, so we got two channels, and you know what? Just be I could end the video now because we've I've captured the point that I was trying to make. But what I need to do is tweak, people. I need to tweak. So I like that. I'm gonna bring the tone down a bit. Just bear with me here while I while I fix stuff. So what did I not like? Oh, I think I I think the volume was pretty good. Um you know what? I am going to Increase the channel volume just a little bit down there. And you can do these tweaks. So when you do you know, you do your first initial test. See, we built it, we, now we have two channels, so now you're getting into the tweaking. I won't I won't bore you. But here we go with that, okay. <laughs> Now here's a trick you can do as well, which I like to do. So this is this will be the bonus content. We've already accomplished what we needed to do. That's how you do your two, you create two channels in a in a higher gain amp. But what one one thing I also like to do, I just want to add this in, is you can add a controller assignment as well to the mic. Now when it's clean, we're on clean. I like having a, a 57, so we're going to do that. Okay. But then when it's, so that's the 57 here is your bottom slider. So top slider, I want to bring it to a ribbon 160. Let's try that. All right, 
So that's another trick. And I think it's a very powerful one, changing the mic, because that does affect your tone a lot. And I'm, I'm, I'm already, I would use this at a gig, as is right now. Uh, that's how happy I am with the outcome of this. And it was, I wasn't liking it a minute ago, but I just, you know, I remembered that changing the mic, assigning that as one of your uh, controller parameters. And for me, made a world of difference. I like the punch now that I get when it's in a drive. Um, I like using those ribbon mics to, you know, to tame some of that harshness i guess but when it's clean i like it crystal clean and that's where the 57 comes in so anyways thanks for sticking around this long um, now you know uh, for you beginners out there who didn't know how to do this now you i hopefully you know how to make a two channel amp with a higher gain amp now again as i said at the top of the video this is not going to work with every amp so it's going to be a little trial and error you know, and i can probably guarantee you like i said stuff you know the higher heavy metal things like an angle or a diesel or whatnot probably not going to work so stick into that like that marshall plexi style placate or park you know match stick the these uh, german mahavisha uh, mahadivas sorry something like that it'll work and you can get a nice great clean and as well a kick-ass rock tone all right so thanks everybody for watching i appreciate your views the returning subscribers the new subscribers the new viewers the returning viewers all of you appreciate it thanks this channel is growing because of you so if you like this video please click, click the like button uh hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber and if you're a subscriber feel free to ring that not notification bell so you'll know when the next video comes out so take care and we'll see you in the next video